Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll show you how to crochet this easy tote bag. You can adjust the chain to make it into any size you want. The bag measures 12 inches by 12 inches. The written pattern is available. The link is in the description box. For this project, I use cotton yarn, but you can use any types of yarn of your choice. This is the number one fan yarn. Each one is about 50 grams and is about 170 meters long. And you need four of this. And it's very nice that they have the little tag to tell you where to start. A five millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, yarn needle, and stitch markers. And this is my crochet ring. With this, I can crochet for hours without pulling down my hook. It helps to protect my finger when I crochet so that the yarn is not pulling my finger. I highly recommend it if you crochet a lot. The link is in the description box along with the materials. All right, let's get started. I'm using two strings of yarn because the yarn I have is very thin. First, make a slip knot. Insert the hook and make a chain in multiple of four. And I'm making 48 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So go ahead, make 48 chains. To begin the first round of the pattern, we're going to start on the second chain from home. That's one, two, this one. Place a single crochet and place a marker on the stitch. Then single crochet into the next chain and single crochet into every chain until the last chain. At the end of the chain, on the last chain, place a single crochet. Then place a marker on the stitch. And place two more single crochet into the same chain. So a total of three stitches. Place a marker on the last stitch. From here, single crochet into every chain until the last chain. And I meet you at the end over here. All right, so we made it all the way around. On the very last chain, place a single crochet and place a marker on this stitch. Place one more single crochet. Total of two single crochet on the last chain. And now that we have a total of 96 stitches. To begin round two, Stiff stitch into the first stitch. One chain. In the same stitch, place two single crochet. One, two, and place the marker on the second stitch.
then single crochet into 45 stitches into the next marker. And I meet you right here. At the second marker, place two single crochet. That's one. And place a marker on the stitch. And two. Single crochet into the next stitch. On the third marker, place two single crochet. One, two, and place a marker on a second stitch, just like that. From here, single crochet into 45 stitches until the last marker, and I meet you right here. So now that we are on the last marker, place two single crochet and place the marker on the first stitch two and single crochet into the last stitch and now we have a total of 100 stitches on round three basically is the repeat of round two slip stitch into the first stitch One chain and place a single crochet into the same stitch. On the first marker, place two single crochet, one, two, and place a marker on the second stitch and single crochet into 45 stitches into the next marker. Now that we are on the second marker, place two single crochet. One, and place a marker on the first stitch. Two, and single crochet into three stitches into the next marker. Place two single crochet here. One, two, and the marker goes on to the second stitch. Single crochet into 45 stitches into the last marker. On the last marker here, place two single crochet. And place a marker on the first single crochet. Two. And single crochet into the last two stitches. And by the end of the round, there'll be one or four stitches. And I meet you on round four. Round four is the last round of increasing. Slip stitch. One chain. Single crochet into two stitches. On the marker, place two single crochet. Basically, we don't need the marker anymore, so we can just leave it on the side. Single crochet into every stitch until the next marker. And on the marker, place two single crochet. Two single crochet. Two single crochet. And by the end of the round, there'll be 108 stitches. And I meet you on round five. To begin round five, slip stitch into the first stitch. Three chains. One, two, three. And this counts as a stitch. Then place a double crochet into the next two stitches. Yarn over. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, and pull through the last two loops. 
Double crochet, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and yarn over, pull through the last two loops. One chain. Skip one. Double crochet. And double crochet. Again, double crochet. One chain. Skip one. Double crochet into three stitches. One. Two. Three. And this is a repeat. Repeat this all around, and I meet you on round six. At the end of round five, one chain after the last double crochet and skip the last stitch. On top of the chain three stitch, a slip stitch, one chain, and turn. In this chain space, single crochet, three chains, one, two, three. Skip the three double crochet stitches. In the next chain space, single crochet, three chains, one, two, three. Skip the double crochet stitches. In the chain space, single crochet. Three chains, single crochet, and this is a repeat for this round. Repeat this all the way around, and I meet you on the next round. To begin round seven, slip stitch into the first stitch. That's this one here, and slip stitch into the chain space. Three chains. One, two, three, and this counts as a stitch. In the same chain space, two double crochet. That's one, and two. One chain. In the next chain space, three double crochet. One. Two, three, one chain, three double crochet. And this is a repeat. Repeat this all around, and I meet you on round eight. Round eight is the repeat of round six. Slip stitch into the top of chain three, one chain, and turn. Single crochet into the chain space. Three chains. Single crochet. Three chains. Single crochet. And this is a repeat for this round. If you want to, you can also flip this inside out to make it easier to work with. And at first, your bag may look a little bit twisted and not flat. This is normal. You just need to continue to work on it, and eventually it will look like a bag. I stop out of my bag, which is about 11 inches. And to continue the pattern, make sure the last round is the double crochet stitch round. After you join the round, we do nothing in the chain space. Single crochet into the double crochet stitches. Skip the chain space, single crochet into the double crochet stitches. I find it widened the opening in single crochet into the chain space, and that's why we do nothing in the chain space. And also, try to keep your stitches loose, because we don't want the opening to be too tight either. And at the end of the round, there'll be 81 stitches.
and we'll be doing this one for two rounds. After two rounds of single crochet, and it's time to make the handles. I divided the bag into four, so 81 divided by four is 20 plus one. And 20 became the number of stitches between the blue markers. And from blue to the green is five stitches. And that's how wide I want the handle to be. From the green marker to the green marker is 10 stitches. On the other side is 11 here. And this makes up of 81 stitches. Drawn around, slip stitch, one chain, single crochet into five stitches into the green marker. And single crochet into another five stitches into the blue marker. From here, 80 chains, which is about 20 to 21 inches. But you can decide the length of your handle. After you made the chain, make sure your chain is not twisted. And we're going to place a single crochet into the blue marker. From here, single crochet into every stitch into the next blue marker, which is 20 stitches. And from the blue marker, make another chain of 80 for the handle and connect that to the next blue marker, which is 20 stitches apart. And then complete the round by single crochet into the rest of the stitches. And I'll meet you on the next round. To begin the next round, slip stitch, one chain, and single crochet into every stitch into the blue marker, which is 10 stitches. Once you reach the chain, flip it to the back, and you'll find the little bumps on the back of the chain. And we're going to place single crochet into the back of the chain. This is to give it a clean look on the edge. Then continue to single crochet for a couple more rounds, and I meet you on the final round. At the end of the final round, after the last stitch, cut yarn, and join the round with a yarn needle. Insert into the first stitch, and insert into the back loop of the previous stitch. This way, you'll get a nice finishing look. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!